that means that the vaccine will not provide as much protection as other years when there's a good match. Of course, it's routine for a lot of people to get the flu shot each year, but this year doctors say the shot seems to be a bit less effective against this year's strain. Yeah, we are starting to see a spike in seasonal flu cases right now. Holly Bach is live in Phoenix with more on why this year's flu shot is not working quite as well. Holly. Hi, Nicole. Well, it's a little bit hard to differentiate symptoms from COVID and the flu. That's why a lot of people are going to healthcare centers or even urgent cares to get tested for both. However, doctors are looking more into the flu shot and they say this year it is not as effective as years past. As more people rush to get tested for COVID before the Christmas holiday, doctors want you to keep the flu in mind as well, especially this year after researchers found the flu shot is not as effective as years past. Dr. Shad Marvosti explains why. Every year, scientists anticipate what um, versions of the flu, basically what variants of the flu will be circulating uh, in North America. And so they create uh, vaccines based on what they think are going to be the dominant strains. Marvosti says every flu vaccine protects against four different strains. This year, there was a mismatch. The four strains that our flu vaccine has don't match the one that is appearing to be the dominant strain for this year. So that's a mismatch in terms of the vaccine. This means the vaccine will not provide as much protection, but Marvosti says it will still help prevent serious illness or hospitalization. So it definitely provides a protection. According to the Department of Health Services, 525 flu cases were reported in Arizona last week alone. <laughs> that's nearly double than the week before, and it's a 343% increase over last year. DHS is recommending staying home for the holidays this year if you're not feeling well, especially especially with COVID cases also on the rise. It's hard to know if it's COVID or if it's flu. Either way, staying home when you're sick will protect those around you from becoming ill and reduce the likelihood of people needing to be hospitalized, which could create more of a strain on our already strained healthcare system. Now, most state health testing sites do not test for both COVID and the flu at the same time, so you will have to go to a health care center for that. However, Embry Health tells me they're actually working on creating a trio test. What that will do is test you for COVID, RSV, and the flu all in one swab. They're hoping to roll that out at five of their locations within the next couple of weeks. Live in Phoenix, Holly Bach for Arizona's Family.